With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, figure shows two cases. In first case, a spring, spring constant K is pulled by two equal and opposite forces F at both ends and in second case is pulled by a force F at one end extensions X in the springs will be so here we can say in the first case let's say spring force will be towards let's say here if elongation is x1 so spring force on the right side will be kx1 to the left and on the left side will be kx1 to the right so we can say here by equilibrium f will be equal to k into x1 as f here balances from both sides so we have here f as k into x1 hence x1 here comes out to be f by k so extension in the spring in first case is f by k now coming to the second case here we can say if this is our spring and this here is the natural length so this portion is natural length and suppose here we can say this is the x2 elongation at the mean position we can say kx2 becomes equal to f so f is equal to we can say here kx2 hence x2 comes here as f by k but here we can say the distance of let's say natural length from the let's say here we can say as the mean position or equilibrium position is the amplitude so it will further go towards the stretching x2 so we can say here it further elongates by x2 distance as this is the mean position and this is here we can say maximum stretching so we can say maximum extension in this case from the natural length here will be equal to 2x2 which is equal to 2 times f by k hence we can say in the second case maximum extension is 2f by k and in the first case maximum extension is f by k so amongst the four option we can say in first case f by k and in second case 2f by k that is option number four is the correct answer hence we can say four is our answer for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today